All right, hey everybody, just got my uh, new Fanatic uh, Universal Hub in and I uh, thought I'd design some new shifters for it since my Formula One style shifters uh, aren't quite strong enough to overcome these longer longer uh, shifters. We've got just too big of a, of a lever arm that'll overcome those magnets. So I redesigned them explicitly for, uh, for the, the uh, Universal Hub. And so this is the design that I came up with. Um, basically a longer single piece design that attaches on each side. Uh, it engages the magnets, uh, pull right against the steel shifter bracket here. Um, so we've got just the one piece on each side, simplifying the design. Uh, it's nice and long, so we've got really crisp, crisp action against the, uh, the factory paddle there. Uh, the kits will come with everything you need. It'll have a, the two shifters already assembled and then the four mounting screws for it. Um, and I've actually got two different versions, and I printed off uh, one of each here in blue just for better, uh, better visibility on the video here. So we've got the flat version. And that just mounts right, right to the uh, out of the box shifter. Um, so if you haven't done any shifter tuning with our set screw and jam nut there, um, you'll want the flat version. Um, also for the guys that like uh, like that longer travel on their shifters, the flat version is going to be the one to go with. Um, otherwise, if you wanted to do some shifter tuning and uh, and eliminate a lot of that unnecessary pre travel, um, I've got this version here that's got about a. a oh a six millimeter offset or so to eliminate a lot of that pre-travel so we'll call this one the tuned version and the flat one is the uh just the stock version so with that i'll uh i'll get into the install so tools required um for the flat version all we're going to need is a number one phillips and a 2.5 millimeter allen wrench and for install it's very very straightforward um we'll just set the uh set the shifter on there with the captured side down Grab our screws and we'll thread those in. Just snug them up. All right, so now. Here we can see we've got a little bit of a gap between the uh, magnetic portion and the steel plate. So what we need to do to fix that is we're going to loosen the two adjustable Allen bolts here and we're just going to let the shifter slide up to meet the magnets. And we just have to loosen these about one turn. And it should just pop right in place. Might need to wiggle it around a little bit, but once it's on the magnets, then we can just snug these back up. And that's it. Shifter's installed. So you just repeat that for the other side if you had the flat one. Um, now, uh, for installing the tuned style shifter, um, first thing we got to do is we have to tune our shifter and then we're going to install the, the component and then we'll retune it if needed. So to tune these shifters, what we've got is a set screw and then a jam nut. And all that does is it presses down against the aluminum angle bracket here and just gets rid of some of the pre-travel. So if we listen real close, we can hear a click when the shifter sets or when the uh, electric switch in there sets, and then a, another click as we let the shifter back out and it'll reset. So we'll listen careful. So set, reset, set, reset. So we're gonna dial out some of that unnecessary pre-travel. So to do that, we're gonna use our eight millimeter combination wrench. We're just going to break that nut loose about 90 degrees. And then we're going to thread in or uh, turn in the set screw until we hear the first click for the set. And then we're going to back it off until we can hear that reset. There's my set, click, 
reset. And then I'm gonna actually back this off about another 90 degrees after I hear that reset click. And I wanna do that just to make sure, actually before I do that, we'll snug this down while I'm holding that Allen wrench steady or straight. All right, so now everything's snugged and in place. So, should hear a set, reset. And then I've still got that little tiny bit of travel after that to make sure that it resets. Because as the shifter wears and over time, we want to make sure that the switch still functions a year from now or two years from now or even longer. Set, reset, set, reset, set, reset. So now that shifter is tuned, that's locked in place, that's good to go. Got nice short shifting action compared to the other side. So then we'll install the mod. Snug it down. All right. Oh, we got a problem, so we don't hear any clicking from that switch. So that's putting too much load on that. So we're gonna adjust the paddle. Again, loosen both these screws about one turn. So then these paddles can slide in can slide around. We want to make sure that it's flat against the mod. Like so. And without moving it, we're just going to snug down those screws again. There we go, that's installed. So nice short throw with the tune shifter where you've got the original long throw version, just like that. Um, I did make these short enough so that you can run the factory paddles all the way on the inboard side of the, uh, the three hole option that you got on the end there. So whether you're using a smaller wheel like the R300 I have here, where you want the shifters in quite a ways, or if you're using a larger diameter rim and you need the, the paddles further out this model work with either of them so there we go let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, I'll have them listed on uh, on eBay and Etsy here shortly uh, in black and there'll be the flat version and the tuned version thanks